It's where you live, it's where you grow, it's where your dreams unfold. It's in every chapter of every story, it's more than just a home. Hello, I'm Rick Ramsey, owner of Ramsey Building Company. And I'm Joy Robertson, host of a brand new show called It's More Than Just a Home. Over the next 26 weeks, Rick is going to take us behind the scenes to show us how homes like this one are built. Ah! Well, go straight up and let me go in the corner. Okay. Our goal is to show you what it takes to build today's modern homes. We're going to introduce you to the people that work tirelessly to turn blueprints into masterpieces. We'll show you new products and unique services available to homeowners. And we'll introduce you to modern construction techniques that help turn dreams into reality. Let's take a sneak peek at the homes Rick is going to highlight on the first season of It's More Than Just a Home. Well, Rick, those are obviously beautiful homes, and I am so excited to see how each and every one of them were built. You ready to get started? Well, I'm ready. Our journey begins with what we call Ozark's Lodge. So this we've called the Ozark's Lodge for one particular reason, and that is it's rustic, and it's a little bit modern. Um, and it's a little bit traditional. So what our goal was in this home was to create a space that reflected both him and her. He likes rustic and she likes traditional. How we did that is mostly with the framing and, and the timbers and the trusses and all of the structural pieces we made very rustic. Then with all the furnishings, we wanted to create her and we used kind of the rule for our prop for this project was mostly traditional in all the furnishings. Um, so you'll see we use some antique pieces. Um, some of, most of the other pieces are new. A lot of the light fixtures are a little bit more glitzy and gold. It's kind of like the jewelry of the project. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at Ozark's Lodge. We'd like to thank Grady Real Estate for our VR sponsorship. I will show you um, what you're looking at basically is the main area of the home. Um, I'm going to take you to what it looks like when you come in through the front door. As you come into your right, you've got a really nice custom staircase that leads to the upstairs. You'll see the herringbone antique wood floor in the entryway, and it's separated with some uh, porcelain that looks, like, looks as if it's marble, and that separates the uh, entryway to the main living room. You'll notice the very expansive living room ceiling, very custom. You'll see the reclaimed wood that we used, the timbers for supporting the upper level. The fireplace is one of my favorites. You'll notice a, a real mason built this. It's full bed depth, hand-shaped pieces, and the, uh, the unit itself has uh, some hand-carved stone corbels on each side supporting a stone mantle. So it really fits with this style well. Over here, you'll see the dining room area, and we carried that same theme. Although we took the beams and made them work with the flat ceiling, so you have your supporting members, and then you have your secondary members in between. And there again with the reclaimed ceiling. Let's take a look at this kitchen. Love the kitchen. You're able to have views looking out the front yard. Again, we carried the timbers through, but notice the hood ventilation system over the range. We did a custom stone feature there as well with stone corbels, stone lintel, and up inside is a liner with an actual uh, ventilation system to take care of any exhaust, things like that. But it really adds a wow factor to this kitchen. You'll notice the uh, countertop for the island is actually a Phoenix stone. The Phoenix stone, we will be showing you a little bit more about that product that's made here locally. So you'll notice looking back from the kitchen, if you're standing towards the main sink, you'll see a little prep sink. It's a hammered copper sink. And the cabinets are just wonderful. Cabinet concepts by design. 
uh, made these cabinets for us, and we are very, very pleased. Let's go to the screen porch. The screen porch is awesome. We've got all kinds of things going on. We've used um, Douglas fir and cedar timbers with a tongue groove ceiling. We've got a, another stone surround fireplace, massive, massive stone columns. Um, really, it's just a perfect scenario for hanging out in the outdoors, but yet feels like you're in the comfort of your home. You'll notice the windows and doors, they give a great view to the outside property and also into the screen porch. We used a Windsor brand windows and we used a simulated divided light. So you'll notice all the grills on the windows. Those are actually adhered to the inside and the outside of the, of the glass itself to give that true divided light look. One of the biggest features of the Ozarks Lodge is its lake that we built. And you can see we're down at a lower level. You can see the home in the background. There's also a pavilion between us. And I can show you this actually started from just a little ravine and we were able to carve out the land and make this beautiful lake. The lake will ordinarily have a fountain running, but this time of year it was fairly cold, so we've got the fountain turned off. The Ozarks Lodge is 6,600 square feet under roof with three bedrooms, three baths, and a three car garage. We also constructed a 2,400 square foot metal building shop. And as you know, numbers do not describe what makes a house a home. Over the next few weeks, let's take a closer look into this home and see how it was built. Once I reviewed the property with the homeowner, I decided to bring in Jason Thompson of JL Thompson Home Design. And after the break, we're gonna meet Jason and see how this design was created. This is a, this is a really fun project. It's more than just a home. At Erica Lee Design Studios, our interior design style is luxurious, timeless, and above all functional. Our goal is to reflect your personal taste with designs that highlight the architecture of the home and improve your lifestyle. We believe collaboration is key and pride ourselves on being your personal design advocate. We walk you through the design process to ensure your concerns are heard and your needs are met. It's about more than just changing your home. It's about getting a whole new perspective. Hi, I'm Rick Ramsey. I'd like to give you an update with Terry Fortner, Fortner Insurance. Thanks, Rick. In our last commercial about two years ago, we told you how much we loved our home. Well, I'm here to take that back. Really? No, I'm just kidding. We still love our home and would recommend Ramsey Building Company to anyone. It's your line. It would be an honor to build your home. Some people love to drill holes in wood. Open wide. Some people love to drill into cavities. Hewitt Messenger Well Drilling and Pump Service loves to drill wells. Find out more at drillitwell.com. Hewitt Messenger Well Drilling and Pump Service. Declutter and ease your mind. Simply organized by design. Customized style and functionality to match your lifestyle and personality will help you put everything in its place. Cause after all, it's all about the space. We'll help you declutter and ease your mind. Simply organized by design. Simply organized by design. We are JL Thompson Design, located in Branson, Missouri. We have a great team that specializes in 3D home design around the greater 417 area and beyond. With years of combined experience, our award-winning team will help you create the home of your dreams before you even break ground. From the beginning to the end of our home design process, we'll work closely with you to refine every detail to make the home that you're dreaming of a reality. For more information or to learn more about the design process, visit our website at www.jlthompsondesign.com. Welcome back to It's More Than Just a Home. How a home is designed varies with each project. Most new homeowners have a pretty good idea of what they like and want, but taking dreams and making something the homeowners can almost feel and touch. Well, 
That is Jason Thompson of JL Thompson Home Designs Job. Let's see how Jason took the ideas of the homeowners and turned them into the Ozarks Lodge. Well, today I want to talk about the Ozarks Lodge, a home that I think turned out great. And a lot of it was uh, due to the initial planning and design of the home. I like what you did as far as um, the house is, definitely has a lodge feel. On the inside of the home, uh, you designed a, the reclaimed beams and also wanted the reclaimed ceilings to go along with those. Um, and so you were able to put some 3D drawings together of those, uh, what the beams and the shape and configurations would be. You know, we've talked talk about this in previous projects mm -hmm. where we start out in, in what we call black and white, uh, simple black and white. And right. This particular homeowner, uh, I think just needed a little bit more help to envision, you know, what are those beams going to look like? What is the, uh, what it look like with some furniture and what it look like with, um, with uh, a wood ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we were able to do that for them. I think what's unique about this home is it's, it's on a raw piece of property and it's a pretty good incline coming up from the, the farm road it exits off, you exit off of, mm -hmm. and um, you're not able to actually drive straight up to the home, are you? No, no you're not. And uh, yeah, again, uh, that's, a, that's a part of when we went out to the site. And, and we're driving up and, and, the, and the client had a particular view they were wanting and, and then ended up kind of doing the pond and stuff like that. Um, but it dictated how the home sat. Right. And so, again, we, we, we brought that into, into the design perspective. The clients uh, had a particular view over the landscape that they wanted, uh, which isn't unusual. You know, clients have a particular vision whenever we meet with them. And, that's, again, a good reason to meet people at the lot for the very first time in their life. It land. is. A lot, a lot of people think they're pigeonholed, so to speak, into, well, here's where we come in, the house has to face that. And, right. you know, in most cases, that is nice if you can do that. Mm -hmm. But this one, we, we everybody felt, uh, like you said, even the homeowner, that, hey, what would it look like if we actually turned it the way we want? How do we make a presence for us and our guests as they come to the home to see the front? Yes. What we're able to do, which is fun, is then show the client kind of those different stages. Okay, here's how you're going to see it as you're coming up the driveway. Here's you're going to see it this way. Right. Uh, and really just focus on those angles of design. The home is not, not overly large, but it, feel, it feels very spacious. And I think that's just because it has so many uh, raised and vaulted ceilings, not only inside, but outside too. You'll notice looking at this view, you've got two covered porches and, you know, one of them, uh, the one you're highlighting there is actually kind of a, uh, uh, a pool hot tub exercise area. The other side turned out just fantastic. It's got an outdoor fireplace. It's got a, its own kitchenette. Um, it's got uh, plenty of area for seating, either uh, at the kitchen bar area or in, the, in front of the fireplace. But that turned out great as well. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty fun, unique area uh, here. So one of the areas uh, you mentioned was the view, and by adding that lake, the back of the windows worked out exceptionally well. Uh, we could have put all doors across here, um, but we felt the, the larger open expanse of glass, four and a half feet wide by six foot high, we're only 10 inches off the floor here. Right, there's no interruptions. Uh, and yeah, so you have to temper that window uh, when it gets below uh, one foot six. Well, great job again as always, and. I appreciate you working on this design for us and uh, and being part of the team. So we yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much, Rick. It was a, it was all our pleasure. Good. As you can see, there are a lot of unique design elements to this home that we will be taking a look at over the next several weeks. But no design was bigger than this man-made lake. Would you like to know how Rick keeps the lake full, but at the same time makes sure the home always has enough water? Well, after the break, we'll take a look at what it takes to top off the water in this lake and still make sure the homeowners are always able to have adequate drinking water. It's more than just a home. SS&B means quality to me. Proud to be a trained comfort specialist. SS&B, it, it means value to me. Hi, welcome to Springfield Leather. SS&B means service to me. Ask about our Comfort Club maintenance plan. SS&B means comfort for us. Find out what SS&B can mean to you by going to ssbhc.com. SS&B means comfort to me. 
Jesse Owens once said, everyone has a dream, but in order to make a dream a reality, it takes determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. At Ramsey Building Company, we have that determination, dedication, and the self-discipline it takes to make your dream home a reality. And as we like to say, it would be an honor to build your home. It's more than just a home, it's a Ramsey. Raising Solutions is on the scene with their crack leveling concrete raising machine. Removing slabs that have humps, bumps, and jumps can put your budget in the dumps. But Raising Solutions is on the scene with their cost effective concrete raising machine. Any job, big or small, this family owned business can do it all. Raising Solutions is on the scene with their eco friendly concrete raising machine. The website you should show your mom so she will not fall into any harm is concreteraise.com. Having trouble finding your tools? Honey, you seen my drill? This year, Remodel Your Garage was simply organized by design. We'll help you declutter and ease your mind. Simply organized by design. you dig, call me. It's more than just a home, it's a Ramsey. Did you know Midwest Rug has been around since 1947? That's before color TV was available. The first videotape recorder and ATMs. A lot has changed in 72 years. But one thing that hasn't is Midwest Rug's loyalty and service to their customers. It's not luck that we have been around for over seven decades. Midwest Rug, serving the Ozarks since 1947. It's every chapter of every story. It's more than just a home. Of all the stories we will do on this home, or even this show, the well and water system probably aren't the sexiest. But don't tell Richard Lineball from Hewitt Messenger that well drilling and pump service is his life. And on this home, we surely put his abilities to the test. With not only the water demands of the home, we have a large irrigation system and this lake. So making sure we have enough water was a real challenge. Let's take a look at what he did on this home to ensure we didn't have water issues. Let's go take a look at what it takes to actually run our well, Richard. So describe a little bit about what we're looking at here and how this produces water from the ground up. It is designed to make sure that we not only have the uh, proper amounts of water, okay. but at the pressure that they'll need to run this type of home and uh, also provide for the exterior water. All right, so our Ozarks Lodge it's going to take a decent amount of water because we added the lake. Oh, oh yeah, and that yeah. was where the design up front came in. Because in the summertime, it's going to dissipate quite a bit of water out of the lake, so you have to keep it capped off, so to speak. Most of the time, a lake of that size mm -hmm. will be about 12,000 gallons a day that it will evaporate off. Do you recall how deep this well was that we drilled? This well was 745 feet deep. It's a long ways. You would rather hit solid rock than you would clay matter and soft soil. 48 inches down, just enough uh, soil to where you can dig a ditch and get your uh, your incoming yeah. pipes and stuff buried in. But it's uh, we want solid rock that makes for a better well. Well, tell us a little bit about these, what we're looking at. You're looking at here uh, uh, a little larger uh, application. It's not out of Star of, Wars. Uh, it's, it's not yeah. out of Star Wars, yeah. but I tell you what, this is the, uh, the uh, for technology wise, this is the latest best uh, product that's available. So they hold water naturally. They, they hold water. It's, hold, it's holding water under pressure. Okay. There are what we call bladders in there. And that's why you see all the fibrous wrapping to keep them together. Runs through what takes place once the well's in. I'm a homeowner and I want to 
I'm irrigating my yard, I want to get ready for the day I'm taking a shower, what all is going on? What will happen is the water will be utilized, the pressure will start dropping. The water is being drawn into that submersible pump, which okay. in your case is 500 and some feet down. Right. And uh, so it starts, it ramps up and starts producing that water up to the surface. So that system is where you'll gradually build up uh, that water again okay. and the pump will kick off once it builds back up to your set point. Well, I appreciate you explaining everything for us and you always do a good job. Your guys are always very helpful. Appreciate you meeting us. Appreciate your business. All right. The EPA reports that the typical American household uses between 100 and 300 gallons of water every day. When you consider that there are over 130 million households in America, well, people like Richard definitely have their work cut out for them, but it looks like at this home, he got the job done well. Get it? Well? Okay, enough with the jokes. After a long day of drilling wells, it would be nice to relax in an outdoor living area and do a little grilling. So after the break, Rick will take us back to the beginning of this outdoor kitchen to show us how it was made. And we'll be right back. Let's go get, let's go check our production yeah, trailer and good. see if we have any of the production crew. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than just a home. Hey Kristen. Hey! What do you think? I love it. I can't believe how well the doors and windows are going to turn out. We've always said you get what you pay for, so we decided to go with the best. Oh, thank you. The process couldn't be any better. We would 100% recommend Rick. Rick and his team are wonderful to work with, and we have not had a single hiccup through the entire job. We recommend Rick and his team for anyone's custom build. It's more than just a home. It's a Ramsey. Having trouble finding things in your pantry? I've lost my noodles! This year, remodel your pantry with Simply Organized by Design. We'll help you declutter and ease your mind. Simply Organized by Design. Well, you it messenger, well drilling and pump service. There's no job too big or small. Home or business, we do it all. The best solutions for your needs, cause we're all about water. Water treatment, water purification, pump repair and installation. We're the ones you call about your well. Hewitt Messenger Well Drilling and Pump Service. The annual cost of driving on bad roads is $109 billion. But now, Raising Solutions is on the scene with their crack leveling concrete raising machine to help MoDOT fix all the humps, bumps, and jumps on Missouri highways. Slips, trips, and falls are the most common and costly workplace incidents costing businesses over $11 billion per year. But Raising Solutions is on the scene with their eco-friendly concrete raising machine to help businesses fix sidewalks and raise concrete so customers will not fall to harm. Any job, big or small, this family-owned business can do it all. Go to ConcreteRaise.com. I love your new house. It's so cheap. Rick really focused on the details. Now that's a master bathroom. Wow, now this is a chef's kitchen. The bedrooms are huge. It's more than just a home. It's a Ramsey. a concerted effort over the last 20 years to get people outside of their air-conditioned homes and enjoy some of the outdoor areas that they have. Our goal is to create an area that makes you look forward to being outdoors. The Ozarks Lodge is no exception. We worked with Joan Nutting at Machino's to make this outdoor environment a place even the drifter couldn't leave. Well today we're at our Ozarks Lodge home as you can tell we've got our fireplace going out here it's about 30 degrees, but we've got a job to do, so we're going to go ahead and continue on. Where you been, Jackson? Let's get this down. And we're actually delivering the outdoor furniture, and we're going to hook up the grilled accessories and the grill itself. 
Well, I know it's open now, but there'll be furniture in this location and Correct. of course be centered around our beautiful fireplace. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about modification and kind of how this works with using the outdoor area as far okay. as, you know, when you have guests over. So when I came out here and did the site visit, we quickly realized the L shape would be much much more efficient in this space. Well, yeah, especially with the bar stools exactly. here. Exactly, and that way I can the TV, still, the fireplace. Right, I can still have my living area over here. Basically, this area right here, we're gonna have bar stools so that we can sit up and have enjoy this beautiful view. First of all, we don't want wood outside. Even if it's pressure treated when it's in a grill island, it is gonna retain moisture, mm -hmm. it's gonna attract bugs, it's just gonna over time decay and rot. Swell and exactly. rot. In, I think Machinos and Rick Ramsey Homes, we want the customer happy five and 10 years from now, not just right now. Mm -hmm. That's You're my right. attitude. Yes. So these are actually steel stud uh, cabinets. They're built out of galvanized studs. The biggest thing about Grill Islands is heat transfer. Mm -hmm. And you cannot have anything in this area that's gonna absorb the heat. Good job guys, I think we're uh, ready to start cooking. Let's so, go. Let's go get the furniture. So what happens in outdoor furniture is that they have to make the furniture to sustain in any conditions. So they build the furniture and out, all the outdoor furniture that we sell is going to be powder coated. <coughs> powder coated okay. is where they spray the, the, the powder onto the fa uh, metal. There's electric current and then they bake it. The solution dyed acrylic usually has a five year fade warranty. Mm -hmm. Generally on Sembrella outdoor fabric, you're not gonna show any fading for about 10 years. Whenever you open a zipper on a solution dyed acrylic, the same print that's on the outside is gonna be on the inside essentially. It's just a reverse of the outside. I have to say I approve. So the next thing we have going with these guys is the rug. The cool thing about this rug is it is made for outdoors, so if a water gets on it or a stain gets on it, you simply hose it off. This is the cotton bin cart. It's an old, old cotton bin cart, all original. It even has a little Phoenix emblem on it. Well, and I think that just about wraps up our uh, outdoor patio. Well, thank you. Thank you. been nice uh, helping it. and uh, assisting somewhat. Yeah, so, that yeah. was a pleasure. I, I love working with your customers. Good. Even though this outdoor living area has everything a homeowner could want, that doesn't mean we're done with this home. As a matter of fact, we are just getting started. Next week, we'll take you into the kitchen. Maybe see how the shower works. Maybe show up, do that. I'll be out of here, Look at some of the new technology and garage doors. And then I'll close it. And introduce you to Erica Lee of Erica Lee Design Studios. Hey everyone at the Ozark Lodge House. I can't wait to show you. Um, hold on, we should back up. I mean, look at that fireplace. It's real stone, real dry stack. Each piece was custom fit. I mean, it took weeks to make that happen. Love it. We want to thank you for taking this journey with us. We do, and we hope you liked our first show. And if you want to see the full show again and learn more about the vendors who helped build the Ozarks Lodge, go to RamseyBuilding.com. And until next week, let's get building. Every chapter of